Ezra here with a quick video on how to use Google's URL Builder. This tool is so dang cool and nobody is using it. So I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So you just go to Google, you type in the word URL Builder, click on the first result, and it's going to bring you to a uh, tool that uh, a tool within Google's uh, tool resource. And the point of the URL builder is to be able to pass data into your Google Analytics account so that you can see exactly where your traffic is coming from. So if I put in like, you know, um, smartmarketer.com, say I'm sending people there, um, and let's say I'm sending them there from Facebook, so I'd put Facebook and um, let's say it was on my fan page, right? So if it was my, you know, the medium would be fan page. And then the term content and name would be whatever that piece of content was. So if we go to smartmarketer.com, we'll just go to Smart Marketer, and uh, we'll pick, let's say, e-commerce controversy as a video. I'll just actually do it for this. I'll grab this link. I'll make this the website URL. Say I was posting this to Facebook on my fan page, then the term would be e-com controversy. So when you share your content and you share it out on Google, on on uh, Twitter, and you're, you email it out to your list, you share it on Facebook, you share it on LinkedIn, you want to be able to see uh, how you know how those sources, how those different sources of traffic are doing for you. So by create creating these individual links for each uh, for each social platform and each you know each link in your email, you'll be able to see how, uh, how those different sources of traffic are, are converting for you, how much time they spend on your site, who buys, all that kind of stuff. So you take this long link that that, that uh, Google spits out, and if we look at it, we can see that it's um, putting a UTM code, right? It does puts the URL, which is smartmarketer.com, and then it adds this little question mark, UTM source equals Facebook, and then it adds another UTM, um, medium equals fan page. So this link right here, if I go to this link, it's going to redirect to the correct page, but it's going to drop all that data in Google Analytics. Now, that link is too long to post on Facebook, so I'll come to tinyurl.com. I'll paste that link in there, and I'll put, like, you know, ecom, Ezra, or whatever, make the link small. And now I have a small link that will redirect through that Google URL Builder link that will redirect to my website. Now, here's an example of a link like this posted, right? So if you look at uh, Google+, Plus, for example, I said I'm hosting a new webinar. This is what it's about click this link to go to it. And this is a tiny URL link that redirects through a URL builder link over here. And that way, when I go into my analytics account, I can see like Facebook fan page soft sell webinar. I had 216 people who, who came to my website from my Facebook fan page for that very same soft sell webinar that you see here on Google+. Um, and if I look in my conversions, I can see how many people, since I'm tracking conversions, I'm doing conversion tracking where I'm um, setting up goals in Google Analytics and tracking when someone opts in, I could actually see how many opt-ins I got for that webinar from this one uh, traffic source Facebook fan page. I could also see how many opt-ins I got because you can see OAP is Office Autopilot and the medium is email So and soft sell webinar. So this was from my soft sell webinar email that I sent to my list. I had 635 visits from that from that particular link in my email because I send emails that have multiple links in them. So I track individual links in each email and I can see how well my email list performs. Like for example, time on site for my email list was 327 for this thing. Time on site for Facebook was 215. Now that makes sense because my email list is more engaged with me. They're actually on my, you know, they're on my email list. And you can see I do this for all of my different um, attribution points. So just a cool little quick uh, demonstration on how to use the URL builder to get insight into how the different um, social platforms that you're using are, are working for you and how much traffic they're sending to you, etc. So um, I hope you use it. Let me know how you go with it. And, you know, this can be used for anywhere, anytime you're posting a link anywhere. If it's a link on your blog, if it's a link on any social profile, if it's a link in an email, if it's an affiliate link, doesn't matter what the link is, you can run it through, through the URL builder and... Uh, uh, have more clear tracking on it in your analytics account. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get some use out of it. And uh, thank you for watching.